Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando and I am so excited. It's the opening day of Mardi Gras season. I'm ready to eat jambalaya, gumbo, po' boys, all of the great Mardi Gras food. So, let's go do this. The music as you're walking in really just gets you all pumped and ready to go. This is gonna be such a fun night. Obviously, I'm excited for the food, but there's also going to be a bunch of different entertainment. They are going to be throwing some beads. We're going to figure out all the details as we go along, and that way you can see it and then plan to come down here because this is going to be going on for another whole month, and I'm just excited. I'm probably going to come more than once. I love Mardi Gras season. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Well, hello there, kitty. Thank you. Just as I'm walking in now, I can tell it is super busy here today at Universal. It is an opening day thing actually that's happening, but it's also the weekend. So we're going to be looking at very long wait times more than likely. 90 minutes for Despicable Me. And it also looks like they have the walkway to Islands of Adventure open. So that, that tells you right now it's going to be super busy today. If they open this up, that's usually what they do when it's a busy day in the park. Regardless though, my number one goal today is to make the most of it and have fun. Seize the day, carpe diem. We're coming up on where they're showcasing some of the floats and it kind of reminds me of Halloween Horror Nights, like a scare zone. Doesn't it? It's, it's kind of strange. And I think they're going to be tossing beads maybe? This year's theming is all about pirates. So I'm excited. Oh! Fancy! Hit the camera! Yeah, come on, get it on there! You got it, yep! Oh! As you can see, they have these little blue dots. This is where you actually stand, and that's when they'll throw some beads to you. They're not gonna throw the beads at people that are walking by. You actually have to take a spot, and that's how we got them to throw. But uh oh, it's starting to rain. We gotta go. Thank you! Normally they'd be tossing the beads off at the floats and during the parade, but since there's going to be no actual parade, they just have a whole bunch of bead stations all over the park, and we're going to get as many beads as we can. I came prepared with a couple already, but I plan on getting a whole neck full of beads. I'm very excited for this. I'm also very excited for all the food. You see they're cooking up some food right outside here and it's a little bit rainy out. And look at, the rain is actually hitting it. How cool is that? And it's causing that little sizzle sound. Look at this fanciness coming right down the street right now. Wow. Yeah, I like your dress. Happy Mardi Gras. Before we actually get some food, we're gonna need to get ourselves a handy dandy lanyard, which is basically like a sampling lanyard, and we'll go over the prices of them, but it makes things easier. I like when there's like food festivals that have them available, because it's a lot easier to just buy up front and then not have to pull your wallet in and out. So we're gonna find one of those and get them and then get some food. Oh, look at you! Happy Mardi Gras, friends. Thank you, thank you. Wow, that is nice and fancy. Wow. I ran into some friends. We literally yeah. ran into each other. Yeah, we did. And I knocked you over? Oh. He has the lanyard, and it's actually, how much is it, 60? So, APs get 59s for 65. Yep. Or if you're a non AP, it, they knock it down to 10. 10 items. And then it's oh. 55. Oh, I'm definitely getting one so and it's then worth it and you don't have to use it all in one day You can use it throughout the festival till like March 22nd. So you pretty much get five extra items for ten more dollars Which is a steal sold because some of this stuff is by six bucks a piece sold sold <laughs> We're gonna be hanging out with Promise and Travis all day long. And then also, I have another friend joining up with us too. And you might have seen her earlier, but Jackie, super enthused. everybody! See, Mardi Gras is great, but Mardi Gras is great with friends. That's the thing, that's the ticket. Oh, right on, right on. <laughs> And I definitely think a perfect first stop is the New Orleans shipping crate because that's what this is. Look at, they made a shipping crate into a stand 
and they've got the jambalaya here. So we'll buy our lanyard and then use it for the jambalaya. I'm excited. I love jambalaya. All right. I got my lanyard and now I'm getting my jambalaya. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. She <laughs> I love jambalaya. We got shrimp in there. We got sausage. We got the crawfish right on top. This is going to be so amazing. I'll tell you how to really do it once you get that. Where are you going to do it? I thought first things first is hold the crawfish. On, hold on, hold on. But I, I'm, I'm... Nate's eating his crawfish first. Nate's is this. I don't think that's how that goes. That is not the appropriate way to eat a crawfish. No. Promise has told me, so I have to... Suck the brains. brains. I think I'm going to stick to the jambalaya for now. <laughs> we'll come back to this guy later. I will suck the brains. Hold on. I know I'm going to enjoy the jambalaya, though. This is amazing, though. I love that there was more than just one piece of shrimp in there because I already ate all of them. Oh like I, I don't know why I grabbed the shrimps right. because I want to eat them. Let's but you got shrimp, chicken, oh, yeah, there are shrimp yeah. And sausage, right? and only sausage. I love it. And I think it's got like the perfect level of spice. I love jambalaya. Later on, I plan on mixing a little jambalaya and gumbo together and oh, making yeah, yeah jumbo. Jumbo. Oh, gumbalaya, gumbalaya, <laughs> gumbalaya. That's the way. Jumbo. <laughs> Now I'm actually gonna try the crawfish the proper way. Oh, they got a good. Piece. Yes, I deshelled yeah. it, or would you call it a shucking? A shucking. A shucking. It. Yeah, we shucked it. So now <laughs> I'm gonna actually try it, and I have to be honest. I think this is the first time I've actually had crawfish. Mm. I think so. I don't know. I can't remember. It'd be nice if it came with like a little dipping. Oh, a little dipping. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> I originally thought that I was gonna be able to just like bite the back end and kind of like cherry stem it and actually get the tail out and then like you know spit out the the shell but that didn't work at all so we're just gonna try it the way that we should be eating it oh it's very good i like it a lot it's very good yeah it's very good but now that i've gotten jambalaya i need to jump on over to the gumbo Oh, that's funny. I got jambalaya, but jumping to gumbo. I like the way that sounds. And I'm just loving the atmosphere in here. We've got tables with different umbrellas on top. The fun atmosphere. We have a float over here tossing out beads. And then character performers just walking around in their best outfits. Look at that. That they look so fancy and festive. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I decided on getting the gumbo because, you know, I had to have the gumbo, but then I seen the muffaletta sandwich, and because we have this fancy lanyard, this was $6, and this was 13 so it's so worth it. I didn't want to pass up getting this because it was $13. So, okay. That's why I was like, oh, well, I'm going to get this, so this is the muffaletta sandwich. It's worth it Yeah. It's a different price. That's why it's worth it, yeah. Yeah. One thing I noticed is the lack of spoons. So we're eating everything with a fork today. And this is all shrimp gumbo, but I love it. I love gumbo so much. I love rice, and like I said, I love Cajun. So I'm gonna kind of see if this is better than the jambalaya. Okay, I gotta say, the gumbo is way better than the jambalaya. I love it. I am obsessed. I might actually get another. Oh dang, it's really May I have another? What is that? <laughs> Other than shrimp, they do have Indoli sausage inside the gumbo. So it's not just shrimp. And like I said, I, th I like this a lot better than the jambalaya. This is so good. The okra, everything's on point. Margaret, I'm going to let you know this is it yeah. Is it good? It's really good. I don't know. It's super cheesy. Just go for it. And now I think we're gonna move along. Like I said so far, the gumbo has been my absolute favorite. But before, I was telling you, it's not just New Orleans food. So they're gonna have a whole bunch of different culture and food at all the different stands. I'm excited for that. We have Brazil, and then right over here, we have Colombia. So isn't that cool? And like I said, there's a Germany stand and of course New Orleans and they all have like a little flag symboling where that food came from. So as you're walking around, if you see something that you like, you just look at the table and it'll tell you where it came from. That's really fun. 
the Columbia stand has some amazing arepas. That's what uh, Promise told me because she already had them. So I figured we'd come back because that seemed like there was a long line. Instead, we'll jump over to another one that I see no line. And that's kind of how you do things around here. Another fun thing is that each area, they have different little like tables. So by the Columbia, they had tables with like little drums in them. And now we're gonna hop over to another stand and you'll see like the different tables that they have there. You can see here, this is the Trinidad, and you can tell by the shipping container, the colors, and you look over and they have these barrels, and these are like the tables that you actually would eat at, and it kind of matches it. I like that. Now I've seen three different areas like that, and it's very fun and festive. I really wanted to try some unique beers actually at the Mardi Gras festival, but now we're at Trinidad and they have a unique beer that I do want to try, but they also have a unique mixed drink. So I might be double doing it here just because I'm eager to try both of them. We'll see. And you can see by the food here, they have the little flags in them. These look really good, but like I said, I'm very interested in trying this Queen's Park Swizzle. You can't get two alcoholic drinks at the same time, so we'll come back and actually get the lager, but this seems very fancy. Ooh, it is fancy. You're adding a whole bunch of stuff to it. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> so I wanted to get the beer, but uh, they only give you one one drink per person at a time so I can go back up after I have this But I seen they put the bitters in there and it was a little bit strong so I'm excited to see how it tastes Oh, it is good Yeah, what is this? I mint. Oh, it's the mint. Yeah. So you gotta like <laughs> Rub it on your beard. <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna be minty fresh all day Yeah. And yeah. the queen swizzle here is actually very delicious as well. Trinidad did well. Oh. It did very well today. It makes sense that they would call it Swizzle. Oh! Swizzle so we're gonna make this the Queen Swizzle, Swizzle Mojito. <laughs> yeah. Swizzle the Oh, look at this light. Oh, this is kind of fancy. It did make it more minty. <laughs> did it? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I want to try to keep a good balance between drink and then food and then maybe like a dessert. And it's hard because there are so many different things that I enjoy and I want to try. Now, I think we're gonna head on into the tribute store. I haven't been in there yet. They did have a preview the other day and I wasn't able to come out but from what I see it looks amazing and plus they have some pretty good snacks in there as well as we wait in line to get into the Royal Street Jazz Preservation Hall I'm so excited I'm going what I don't know if I go in oh four wow look how fancy it is in here it looks we're going into a, like a nice concert venue Oh, does that ring? Oh, I like this coat. Very fancy. They are just getting more and more creative with these tribute stores. The Halloween Horror Nights one was great, and then this year for the holidays, and now the Mardi Gras, they're so well themed, and it's just fun to be in here. This is so fun just walking through these tribute stores. They put so much detail and adventure inside them. I love it. Earlier I told you guys this year's theming was all about pirates and they actually have their own separate pirate room inside the tribute store and I like it. Honestly, I feel like I'm coming out of Pirates of the Caribbean. It looks like the exit like gift shop area, doesn't it? It really does look like a Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop. All right, mateys. <laughs> so much pirates going on. So this is about the Lafitte. Oh, wow. And now... We're going down to the bayou. This is so awesome in here. <laughs> After a brief run through inside this room, I'm gonna be buying a lot of food items because there is a lot of things that I like. Now, unfortunately, this does not count inside the tribute store, so you can't use this to get these snacks, but because they look so amazing, I'm gonna buy them up front. I'm just gonna buy it because they just, they look that good. Can I get the Mardi Gras vanilla cake with cinnamon swirl? Right there, that's the one. And it's got macaroons on top. And then they actually have like a macaroon donut down there. So many amazing things. Oh, all ready to go. Thank you. Oh, wow. I love it. This is the Bayou Bites. And they have so many amazing things. Look at these Andoli sausages up here. They're like little pigs in the blankets. 
Thank you. I'll put this spicy grill on this too. Ah, is this for the cake? <laughs> yeah, no good. <laughs> the first thing that I want to try though is this Anduli sausage roll. As soon as I seen this, I was like, okay, just stopped. I stopped recording and literally went back to the back of the line and I was like, I'm getting the cake and the sausage. This is going to be so good. I am pumped. This takes the cake right now as the best thing so far. Uh, the gumbo was really up there before, but man, this is right up my alley. This is like a pigs in a blanket. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm not even sure what the proper name for that is. Ooh, I like that this is happening right now. <laughs> but it was amazing. Just think, it's the uh, Induli Sausage Pig in a Blanket inside the Tribute Store. Absolutely amazing. Now, I want to try the cake. The cake looks so good, and I think I had like this version of cake for the holiday, and I thought that was my favorite. So, it'd be interesting, but I don't think it'll touch, it won't touch that sausage. No way. So, it's a vanilla macaroon, yeah. and then like a cinnamon tasting, but vanilla cake. These are so fancy to cut into, but they're so pretty, you don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Should I eat cake and macaroon together? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Should I do it? Go full send. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's going in. One big bite, unless I end up dropping this. Oh. That's good. Much more cinnamony than mm. I thought. Kind I'm of, happy it's Yeah, cinnamon. it's very good. But listen, you know what I did? What'd you do? Jackie got the same cake. I ate the cake with the macaroon. <gasps> so then it was like extra vanilla, but like super sweet. It's very good. A little you double dipping. Double dipping. <laughs> no, we have now. now I'm starting to feel a little full, so I think I'm going to switch to just getting some drinks. The cake was phenomenal though, and the sausage took my number one spot as my favorite thing so far. But we will get some more food eventually, but we're gonna have to browse through the menus and just see what they have to offer. In the Italy booth, they have Aranichi, which took me a little bit to actually say that. I don't know why, but nothing I'm really looking for to drink at the moment. Oh, they do have a little stage here. Were you guys just about to put on a show? Yeah, we're gonna do a jig. Oh, really? Yeah, we're gonna do a jig. The king and queen are out and about now greeting all their guests. Thank you. But before we actually get some more food or drink items, we need to get more beads. I need to get a better bead collection. Can you try to hit the camera? Ring toss it. You got this. Whoa, you did it! What? got a couple more but I'm still lacking I need a little bit more to be impressive or to be king of Mardi Gras and I've seen some people walking around with a lot I think they bought them though the next stand that we're gonna go to is actually another New Orleans stand and this is the crawfish and shrimp boil stand but it's also the beignet stand and look it's even got some entertainment here I like it we're here for the beignets yes for the beignets here is what we're talking about, the sweet fried pastry with powdered sugar, but they also have a king cake milk punch. Nine ounces of bourbon milk punch using our house-made king cake syrup. This sounds actually a little bit interesting, so I might have to get king cake milk punch and beignets. But then again, there are a bunch of different boils. Oh boy, I'm overwhelmed. You can take a look at the food here. We have the beignets, we have the seafood boil, and then that big mixture right there is the king cake milk. I'm a little shocked by it though. Looks a little creamy, a lot creamy. So I've learned from Promise that you need to be very cautious when you're eating these beignets. So you're gonna lean in. No, don't, don't breathe in. Don't breathe in. Bend over. Bend over. Just take it. And then just take it and bite it like that. Perfect. We are pro. Okay. Are you good? You did it. <laughs> Beignets here are definitely very delicious. Not so doughy, crispier, darker. 
I don't know. I really, I actually, these might be the best yams I've had ever. I don't know. They, they really, I really enjoy these actually. So I did decide on getting the king cake like alcoholic drink. And I dipped my beignet in there. Yes, and it is amazing. This goes so well together. It's like boozy beignets. But even though the boozy beignet idea is great, you definitely can drink this on its own. It is actually a very, and I thought it was gonna be very creamy, but it's not. It's not very creamy at all. I actually like it a lot. Oh yeah, you can taste the bourbon. You can, this is like a good, good drink. Like it's refreshing. I do have to say, I have not had many drinks, but that king cake drink is probably the best one so far. But that might change because we are going to the Germany stand and I know that they have some Oktoberfest beers there. So I'm excited to see what they have. And also, it's a little bit of a rainy day, but it looks like the sky is trying. It's really trying to clear up for us. I do have to say though, after we talked about the lines and how busy it was gonna be here today, I haven't waited that long for any of the boots. The longest I waited was probably 20 minutes. So like I said, regardless, we're gonna make the best of it and we have, I've been having such a great time. And now I see more bee tossing. <gasps> this one might be my favorite though, look at this. Oh, I love it. This is so cool. <laughs> That is so awesome. Happy Mardi Gras! Now we're coming up on the Puerto Rico stand. They got Piccadilla Epinadas, but we want to go to Germany, and I think that's right on the other side. I'm mainly looking for that Oktoberfest. You know the way. <laughs> and here it is. I'm so excited. They have tons of stuff. And look at some more entertainment. Prost! Prost! There you go. You know how to do it. Oh, man. I'm going to get myself probably two of the beers, but I'm going to have to come back up and down. But I also want to get that pork schnitzel slider. A pork schnitzel slider and then a beer. So I went with the Oktoberfest and then I got the schnitzel, but also I wanted to get the pretzel because the pretzel looks so good. This is just a, like overwhelming, huge proportion. The schnitzel is like gigantic and it comes on this little tiny pretzel bun. You can almost put that whole schnitzel on the pretzel itself. Schnitzel, like pretzel. Um, schnitzel so pretzel? pretzel? Did you just invent Ooh. Schnitzel. Schnitzel. Well, <laughs> schnitzel. Yeah, I don't know how to say it, but it would be fancy. Schnitzel. <laughs> First, I have to try the pretzel. Now, German pretzels are a little bit more harder. It's not so much a soft pretzel, but I'm excited because it's gonna probably have a little, little bit of, a little bit of a snap. Yeah. The pretzel. Hmm. The pretzel is kind of just like a pretzel, but Jackie also got the schnitzel and she got it with the Gruyere. Gruyere. <laughs> the cheese, but I got it without it. And it still looks good either way, but I already have a feeling, I probably already know, the schnitzel is a better buy. Yeah. But it's super, super, super big. Yeah, so like, like, how do you even eat this? Well, you're gonna have to like take a bite of the schnitzel first. You can't, yeah, get, you can't get some bun and schnitzel in the first bite. <laughs> Now we can get a good full bite. Oh yeah. Mm, yummy. Is that that's pretzel fun too? Mm. After eating it, I can concur. It is definitely better than the pretzel. Actually, I'm having a tough time deciding whether the schnitzel or the actual indoli sausage inside the tribute store is my favorite. I, I don't know if I can even count the sausage in the tribute store because it's not a part of the Mardi Gras like no. lanyard. Different yeah, so I guess this is it right now. This is but better than gumbo. But it's not a part of the lanyard. So we don't know. We don't know. We don't know, but this is number one, I guess. <laughs> the Oktoberfest beer though. Oh, it is much too good. Right? Much too good for the children. I need more beads. Hello! Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> Next, 
it's starting to get a little bit darker out so the lights are turning on and I'm excited to head back in the direction that we came so we can see all of the floats all lit up in their pretty colors oh wow guys the floats look so much cooler all lit up I wish there was a parade this year but at least they're out and they're actually showcasing them and this is really beautiful look at that <laughs> Look at all of the attention to detail in these. So awesome. I love the pearls right here, actually. I also enjoy how they have the music pumping all over the park. Right now, we're walking through Simpsons, and you can hear it's got like that Mardi Gras jingle going on. And they have a couple of different uh, festival booths and floats back here by ET. So we're going to make our way back there right now. Oh, there it is. Another pirate and another float. Yeah! Oh, champion. I'm feeling good about the amount of beads I got here. I'm gonna always keep these too. I actually have somewhere where I hang them at my house. And then I pull them out again for next year. Like tonight, I started off with two. I think I had two bands, uh, two beads on. And now, I got a pretty good stack. Looks like we're coming out on the last float of the night. I think we've actually visited all of them. And this is the only one we haven't been to yet. And this is like the longest one. This is really pretty. Wow, this is huge. There's nobody out right now actually throwing any beads off them, but this is such a big, big float. This definitely has to be my favorite float of the night. It is so colorful and bright. I love all the beads hanging out of the gator's mouth. I wish we were here earlier so we can see like people tossing the beads. And then the separators are actually beads. Look at that. So festive, isn't it? And I guess this is a good enough place to call it a night. We went to all the floats, ate so much food. I still have a bunch of punches left over. All the food you saw in this video still didn't fill up one punch for $69. That is absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. And in good Mardi Gras tradition here. You ready? You got it! Wait, I gotta try again. I gotta try again. Here we go. Okay. Yeah! Woo! Mine's the bright pink one. We're right next to each other. Oh my gosh, that's our branch right there. That's it. Very cool.